hello everyone and welcome to another video today i have the kindle fire hd third generation this model is from 2013 which is quite old and i have done so many things on it um i had a video on it about two years ago on how to root it that but this was just the only video i had now it is now in a boot loop it is not booting up it actually remains on this screen so i'm going to show you how to recover it from a boot loop so you can see just setting it aside for a while you can see i have um, ubuntu installed but let me just let you know of your requirements so you need a fast boot cable right here so you can see it's just like an ordinary cable but there's actually some modifications on the inside um, that allows it to boot the tablet into fast boot mode if you try a normal cable um, it may it well it will not work because um, it's not fast boot but this cable was actually modified in order to boot the device into fast boot it also it is also known as the factory cable so what we have to do now is so we need in order to use this and uh, to ensure that everything goes by well we need ubuntu installed or any linux distro that uh, allows you to execute adb and fast boot commands and um I reason is because I tried doing it on Windows but the device is detected in fast boot mode so you can see it's still there. The device is detected in fast boot mode but the driver isn't installing on Windows but since Linux is the best when it comes to those types of stuff I just decided to install it. Now if you don't have it and maybe you're a newbie to this kind of stuff then um, it may be a bit difficult for you but if you follow carefully you will get it um, just ensure that if you do not have Ubuntu installed you can have it from a live installation on you from on you can install it on a flash drive and uh, create a live installation so I can s I will put links all links in the description to those um, sources of information so yes you will need ubuntu installed you do not need to remove windows like i said you can just have a live installation just boot in from the firm drive and everything is on there so you can just have the other files downloaded um, on windows and you can access them but for now we'll have to use linux but if you have linux then kudos to you that's very good you can go right ahead okay so just let me show you what files are required so you can see i have already opened my browser and you can see here the firmware here i have it downloaded already also you will need the twop for the device so you can see twop here you click download and you download the twop recovery image when the image is complete you will extract the image so you have to extract the image so you go over to files downloads and you can see the firmware package and also to so let's extract to um, just go back uh, so we extract it and just move this image into the folder here because I will we're going to run the commands directly from this folder so just rename this file update Kindle so we'll just have a simple name to understand and now we have this hair opened um, we want to now put the device into fast boot mode so you press and hold the power button until the device goes off and once again remember that if you don't have a fast boot cable then you wouldn't be able to do this so just release as it goes off and connect it to your computer and now you connect the usb cable and you'd see the device into fast boot mode and i'm going to just lay it aside here and now we're going to run the terminal so you right click and open in terminal so in this folder you right click and open in terminal so you'd see the terminal opened over here and now we're going to type in a command so now if you haven't used the terminal before and you need to install adb and uh, fastboot you type, type in sudo apt install fastboot and you put in your root password 
now like i said i have it installed but if you do not have it installed you simply follow the prompts you will get one that asks you if you'd like to install if you'd like to continue which should have an option of y for yes and n for no so you just press you just type in y and press enter to continue very simple but like you can see here i have it installed already and to install adb you type in sudo apt install adb and the same thing applies now let's get into the real things so now we're going to type in a few commands uh, that we're going to send different files onto the tablet to continue so the first one we're going to type in is fastboot type in this command fastboot hyphen i 0x1949 oem format and just press enter and you'd see it went through the next so just ensure that your device is connected type in this flash boot and um, the image that you would like to flash so you see that's why we were running from this folder because we can just type the file names so flash boot hijack dot img and then you type enter so you see it has already sent the hijack image onto the device and the next one we're going to type in fast boot and uh, the dash i 0 x 1949 fast system system dot img which is this image over here and you type in enter and you see it is now complete now we're going to reboot the device so you type fast boot type in this command and you press enter so you just allow the device some time it's going to reboot and uh, you're going to see a different logo on screen so you can see this logo here now we're going to now send the recovery image for tool onto the device so we type in a command for this command is fast boot hyphen i 0x1949 flash boot recovery image press enter and it's done and then you type fast boot hyphen i 0x1949 oem format and you press enter now we're going to reboot the device so you type we type this command down here and, and i'm going to have all the commands in the description so you press enter and just allow it some time and then it's going to reboot into twerp recovery so you see a pair booting so just bear a little patience all right so you can see that we are on twerp recovery and also it's detected by the computer so we just swipe and uh, immediately go to advanced now twerp is kind of unresponsive a bit so you just have to bear a little patience uh, which i realized um, so sometimes you may tap on adb side load and so you go to advanced adb side load and you select wipe dalvik and wipe cache data so you see it's kind of unresponsive you have the two selected you swipe to start adb side load and uh, just to ensure that it is detected by the computer in adb devices so this time we aren't using fastboot because we are not in fastboot anymore we're using adb so you type in adb devices and you see the device serial number and you see it's in sideload so to sideload the firmware you type in adb sideload update kindle hence the reason we we named the file to be simple name so we can easily remember update kindle.bin and press enter type in the command and press enter so you can see the it's now loading down here uh, so just be patient and you can also see that it's already copying the firmware onto the device so just be patient it's now on four percent and i'm going to pause the video here until it is complete Date on the installation you can see it's on 35 percent 
52 53%. So now it's just flashing in, uh, in the status. Okay, recovery. Okay, now it's complete. So you can disconnect your cable because if you keep it connected, it will go into fast boots. So just disconnect your cable and reboot system. Do not install. See, the interface is quite unresponsive. Try playing around with this. Okay, and also if you'd like root access, you can just swipe to install Super Suit. Seeking new fire logo. Okay, and you can see now it's changed and um, so yes that's initial boot up so it takes some time just be patient of course as always and um, yeah so it's just going to take some time so you can see fire is upgrading now top isn't there anymore top is removed uh, because it was replaced by the original recovery image from the firmware so if you want to install you'll have to repeat the same process maybe if you need it uh, for installing the custom ROM but I checked all custom ROMs for this device and most of them have lots of bugs which aren't um, favorable enough so I I uh, just disregarded them I didn't try installing them at all just for root access alone I had to so if you want to try any one of them i'll link all of them in the description and um, you can go ahead but um, i wouldn't recommend trying any one of them okay so boot up is complete and um, i still have my previous stuff from before so uh, not much has changed so just for you, you may not have to select your launcher, but I already have this launcher, and um, you can see, yes, that we are here, so we have successfully installed the firmware, but unfortunately I don't see SuperSU, so I guess it didn't install, um, but I will post a, a link to the zip file if you'd like to have it installed. So. Oh, and also um, King Root still works. You can still root the device with King Root because uh, what we did a while ago actually we unlocked the bootloader also. So you can install, uh, you can root with um, King Root. So uh, just use King Root. Uh, if you'd like Super Soon, you can just um, use an app like Super Soon to change the um, your root manager to um, to Super Soon. So, anyways, guys. I'm going to end the video here so thank you very much for watching and uh, if you like the video share the video with others and um, of course